Hi everyone, Adrian here and welcome to Wild Bush and Grit. Today in this video we are making coffee, goose coffee specifically. Uh, coffee is not limited to goose. Of course, you know, there is a famous duck coffee, but you can do coffee with, you know, almost any meat, uh, pork, beef, bear. Oh, bear, bear. <laughs> that one should be awesome. Uh, but today goose coffee and it's Confit is great for three reasons. First one, obviously, it's super delicious. The second one is it's another way to preserve the harvest that you've made, you know. Um, confit well done with a good layer of fat on top of it in the fridge will last up to six months. Uh, if you were to pressure can it, then on the shelves, it has like years of the shelf lives. And the third reason is it's a meal-ready solution. You know, you're in a hurry, you want to eat quickly, you just need to do some pasta, potato, or salad, you warm up that confit, and boom, you have a complete meal uh, ready. So let's dive right into it. So here I have roughly um, 10 geese, uh, just the legs, and I added two breasts and some uh, duck legs as well. Uh, that's one, if you were wondering, What's the difference between a goose and a duck? Well, here it is. So we'll just start by uh, wiping out all excess moisture on all the pieces here. One by one, lift them up. I'm using a Scott towel and absorbing as much water that, as I can. And next we will wrap them with salt. I'm using coarse salt. It's just coarse sea salt. And you don't want to use fine salt actually because it will end up being too salty. So grab each piece and add about a teaspoon of coarse salt to each piece. Make sure you're coating each side and lay them down in your pot. So that's it, we're done. Now we're going to put it back in the fridge for about 24 hours. You could do it overnight, you know, maybe 12 hour would be fine, but I prefer to do it 24 hours for the salt to do its job. Twenty-four hours later, now we're ready for the next step, and we're going to essentially cook it. Okay. So I bought plenty of duck fat at the local butcher, and the rule of thumb here for the fat, I'll do my confit in mason jar. I'll store my confit in mason jar, uh, I should say. And the rule of thumb here is to go with, let's say you have six liter total in mason jar, then you need three liter of duck fat, okay? That's the rough calculation. For the next step, obviously we don't need all three liter of, so I'll just put these two on the side. I'll do my confit in a crock pot. What I'll do here is in the crock pot, I'll set the crock pot to about 140, and I'll start melting the fat. As the fat is melting, I'm going to add uh, some spices, uh, some herbs and cloves. Okay, so here in my hands I have, I have six cloves, some bay leaves and thyme. All right, and this goes into the pot. Here, what I'll do quickly is, the, you know, the, the salting period has extracted some water from, from the, the, the ties here. So what I'll just do is I'll just pick up each piece individually. I'll just dab them with some, um, Scott towels, just to make sure that, you know, they don't have too much water on them. Don't add any water to your, um, to your crock pot while making this confit. I've seen a few recipes calling for water. Uh, we'll say it, this is not the authentic way of making confit, okay? The uh, making confit was a way to preserve meat and adding water is counterintuitive to the, uh, the objectives of preserving the meat. Okay, we actually want to reduce the water content and this is why we're cooking in fat for such a long time, you know. One quick clarification here, you can do that in your oven, no problem. Uh, the only thing you need is a recipient large enough to go into your oven. Temperature should be around 140. So here I'll just lay at the bottom of the pot all my piece upon one another. And you know, if I need more fat, I'll just add more fat. It's okay, we have plenty. And that's it, folks. Uh, so the fat is melting. You know, right now all the pieces are submerged. This is going to melt 
in a couple of minutes, so I'm not that worried. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'll just cover it and I'll let it cook and I'll show you what it looks. And voila folks, this is how it looks after six hours. So I left it a little bit longer than anticipated, but that's perfect. I just wanted that extra tenderness on the uh, on those ties. So we're actually not done yet. Of course you could eat it, it's delicious as is, but if you want the real deal, you have to wait at least two weeks, okay? 15 days. You could can the confit in mason jars using a pressure canner. And this is, you know, the ultimate way of preserving your coffee. Uh, it's gonna last many years on the shelves. Uh, but for those who don't have a pressure canner, I have another method for you. And it's a six month method. Uh, what I recommend, not use a metal container, use glass, ceramic, uh, even plastic would do fine. Here at the bottom, I'll just drop a pinch of salt. And I will start with maybe have it layering about one centimeter of fat. Okay, one centimeter. And we will let that fat harden in the fridge. Now I'm going to delicately lay, oh my, oh my God, this is too long. Okay, don't thank you. All right. And you know, for this part, of course, you want everything to be kind of cool, right? You don't want to um, melt the layer of fat at the bottom. And what you want is you want about two centimeters, like about an inch above. All right. And you probably noticed this was just the fat, okay? There was no juices. You need to separate the juice from the fat, you know, the, the cooking juices, because if you add the juice to the fat and the meat, it will not last six months in the fridge, okay? It will spoil much faster. So s remove all the juices. Keep the juice though, this is like a flavor bomb. You can add that to your soup, you can add that to your whatever else you're cooking or you can make it like a, a nice little reduction to go on with pasta, potatoes and the coffee. So I'm gonna set this in the fridge and that's it. Give it at least two weeks before eating it, okay? But um, the aging process will take two months to reach full maturity, all right? So at two months, this is going to be like the peak of all the, the developing flavors. You will not gain much after these two months. And that's it, folks. Now you know how to make your own confit, uh, whether you're preserving for a long time, short term, that's entirely up to you. Uh, know that, again, you can do venison, bear, beef, pork, chicken, that's your choice. And you need now also have a quick meal solution, you know. You like this video? Let me know in the comments. You have any uh, suggestion, questions, something you're not sure in the process? Please do chime in. Always a pleasure to engage with you. And if you're not a subscriber and you like this video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, thumbs up. Always appreciate it. I'm glad to have you on board. And that's it folks, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, see ya.